Hey, what's happening guys? Today I thought we'd take <clears throat> a look at waveform acquisition modes for oscilloscopes. This is something that every oscilloscope, well, every digital storage oscilloscope has. And uh, it's relatively easy to understand once it's been explained to you because there's basically just like three different modes, but then there are different um, flavors of each mode. So your waveform acquisition modes control how the waveform is generated from our sampling points. Now you have to understand in a digital storage oscilloscope the front end brings in the signal takes it to the ADC, the analog to digital converter which samples it into points. Then it has to do its magical computer work on it and then it brings those points out and displays our waveform. Our waveform that we're looking at today is a 1 megahertz 1 volt peak to peak sine wave. I have it here on this channel which is set for 500 millivolts per division so you see there is our 1 volt covering two divisions. Now we are right now in what's called normal or straight sampling mode. For every point that is sampled a point is displayed. It's simply a straight sampling. And this is basically your normal mode. That's why it's called normal. It's also the safest mode. This isn't going to give you any distortion of your signal because of the processing that is being done. Now, the next modes we have are peak, high res, average, and equivalent time. Now, there are others, you know, when you get into higher end oscilloscopes. And then you also have, you know, your video modes, your serial decoding modes. But we're just talking about these straight ones. So this is normal. And there are really no caveats to using normal. For your basic day-to-day -day oscilloscope use, stick with normal. Our next mode we have <clears throat> is peak mode. Now you see it kind of looks pretty much the same here. What peak does is it uses... <clears throat> the minimum and maximum for every individual point of a waveform and then <clears throat> basically averages them together so this is a form of averaging and where this peak mode works out really good is in pulses especially pulses that are spread far apart and the reason for that is the ADC is in its fastest acquisition mode here now don't confuse the ADC speed with the front end speed. They're different. The front end speed on your oscilloscope, like uh, in this case it's a 100 megahertz oscilloscope, that limits the speed of the front end that we're able to accept bef before there's degradation to the signal. The ADC speed is simply how fast we sample that signal. So they can run at two different uh, two different rates. Okay. Now um, peak mode like I said, is uh, good for pulses and stuff like that. Now, its its downside is because it's an averaging mode. If you're using it for a repeating waveform like this, what you're going to end up with over time is a distorted view of this waveform. You're simply going to end up seeing the changes from one point to another over time. So, if you're looking at a repeating waveform, you want to think more about going back to your your uh, normal sampling mode. And then our next mode we have, this one doesn't have it, it's high res mode. And high res is basically oversampling. The ADC is running super fast and it, 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 um, it samples more points than it needs and it, it, it plots more points than, than you're looking at in a normal or a peak detect mode. It gives a cleaner picture I guess, that's the best way to put it. And then after that, we're going to have averaging mode. Now this one is a useful one. Averaging mode, so the sample points are saved from multiple waveforms. Say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just speaking here, I don't know what the specs are on this. Say it samples 100 waveforms. And then what it does is it averages those points. And what peak detect, or averaging mode is good for, is eliminating random noise on your signal. See how that kind of cleaned up a little bit from our normal? You can see those 
it's just little blips of noise there. Well, if you put your scope into average mode, because it's averaging everything out, it eliminates random noise and it gives you a cleaner view of your signal. Now the downside is you only really want to use this again with periodic signals where all you're going to see is the change over time. But you know, it's, it's still a very good mode and a very useful mode to have. Next we have envelope mode. Now envelope mode is a lot like peak detect and averaging mode. What it does is it basically combines your peak detect where you're looking at the minimum and the maximum and the average mode where we're looking at the minimum and maximum over many samples and then it plots them together. So you can see while we're, we are getting a little bit of that random noise we're also getting more points in our signal. So it, it's giving us more but again it's not particularly a useful mode that you want to use for a repeating signal. One, uh, one thing it does do is it runs the ADC in a very fast mode so a downside to that is if you run this with a super fast sweep speed you know if, if you're running this you know as fast as it'll, you can go you know, down to two nanoseconds you are maxing out the ADC so you're not going to actually get the full effect of it. Now another uh, mode that we don't have here is the equivalent time mode and what it does is it gathers way it gathers sample points from multiple waveforms again it's like a, an averaging mode and then it combines them to make a single waveform so it's like the it's like the deepest averaging mode where it averages multiple 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 waveforms then it brings them all together while it will give you a decent picture and it's useful in some cases not a lot it really slows down the way everything runs. And that is uh, just a little talk on uh, acquisition modes. You know, all your scopes have them. Most of them are going to have normal, peak, and average. You know, this one is lacking high res, which I find really odd for, uh, you know, a higher end scope like this. Envelope's one that you're not going to see in a lot of uh, lower end ones. But it's good. Just remember, normal for most of your uh, acquisition modes if you're getting a lot of noise or something you can go with average basically that's all you need one other thing to keep in mind is um, you have your bandwidth control you can use a full or a 20 minute 20 meg limit that will also eliminate some of your noise if you take a look at this now where we're in full bandwidth mode you're seeing more noise on the signal but if we go into that 20 meg limit we're eliminating a lot of that higher frequency noise. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video on acquisition modes. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.